All right, Shalom, I'm Akim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Racha, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that these word in our true faith and sincerity. <clears throat> and today, I just want to get into a lesson pretty much on how um, we at the end of this world. And even the devil himself is acknowledging, you know, he's about to kick the bucket, so to speak. <clears throat> <clears throat> Tell you that the book of Revelation 12, chapter, he knoweth that he had but a short time. You know, but it's ba pretty much based off this article, which uh, they say is going to be 18 years away, but this place ain't got two at best man you know but just the point is that it's clear and obvious that we are at the end of the world the end of so-called white man his rulership you know his influence all this shit is finna finna go man you know so this is from um oh my oh my mag and it reads end of civilization May, be, may only be 18 years away, researchers predict. So, just going back to that 18 years, like I said, this place ain't, you, you seeing it, you, you know, you, if you uh, projecting a right, you know, like I said, two two years at best, man, a year, six months, you seeing it, this spiritual place, this place is spiritually coughing up blood, you know, you see the, 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 the life signs, of the so-called white man, you know, it's fading away. It tells you the world faded away, the luster, the shine, it's become dull, his wisdom, it's perishing. These other nations uh, are now pretty much on part to a certain extent with their military. Everybody got the button now. So it, it, the end of civilization is here though, you know? So, but the crazy part, the nigga said 18 years. Sick motherfuckers, man. So, uh, this is a little clip. Let's play this. And that's this devil, uh, his thing. He, he, it's, it's time. Time, time, time. He's looking over his shoulder concerning time. Matter of fact, let's just get it. I know, uh, let's just go and get it in the book of Revelation 12. 12. Revelation 12 and 12 says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time, a short time to rule. See, when they say the end of civilization, they ain't talking about just the end of everything and everybody. That's talking about the end of them and their era and their regime. You know, they talk. They want to talk about civilization. They got that uh, that misery loves company spirit because the, they they just say pretty much they saying the only way uh, that they gonna fall out of power, the earth got to literally be destroyed. That's why they they entertain the idea of a comet hitting the earth. You know. Of the sun blowing up, or the, just the waters drying up, just everything dry up, planet Earth, you know, that's the only way this man is gonna be removed. So when you hear the end of civilization, that's the, that's what people think of. But no, it's the end of his run, the end of him being in power. You know, it tells you that in Revelation the twenty chapter, he was just gonna rule for just a short season, man. And we at the end of it now. So, let's see. Yeah, the aim of the study was to find out how long we have. You ain't got long, man.
Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. And you going back to that clip, talking about it was saying they had research since the 70s. You know, so this man has always been looking over his shoulder. You know, time is of the essence that's not on his side. You know? <clears throat> but just going back, that 24, it's, it's, it's going to be way shorter than that, man. 18 years. Just seeing these events that's taking place upon planet Earth. It, it, it's nearer than what we believe, man. You know? So this is the book of Wisdom Solomon 2. You know, I started at 1. It says, For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not aright. And this is concerning the council of the, the, the heads of Edom. You know, these bankers, these elites. But they're they're not counseling no right. It says, Our life is short and tedious. And that's concerning really. Uh, going back to that short time. This man, his rhyme was short. You know? In this in this time right here, he was pretty much the whole bottom half of the statue. But in this time, you know, in this B system, and really when America was really fully cemented and established, you know, uh, after World War II, that, that, that just been a short run, man, of being a superpower. You know? From pretty much the, the with the uh, late forties to the fifties, all the way to the pretty much the mid to the late sixties, that was that was the height of this nigga, man. That was his prime, pretty much, and it went down here from now. You know, uh, you had um, you know, this man going up, trying to go into the heavens. Then you had the prophets starting to rap out Albert Bivens, which he was before, but. You know, that was that was the turn that was the turnaround with this devil, man. That's when he his that was his descent began. You know, it says, and in the death of a man there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave, and that's that not a right part. You know, because this man talking about he's not gonna he's not gonna be reincarnated, but that's not the case. It says, so let me jump down, matter of fact. Let me jump down, verse 5. It says, for our time is a very shadow that passeth away. See, and that's this man's time. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fickle thing, a shadow. It's, it's, it's here for and once you turn your head, it's gone. You know? It says, and after our end, there is no returning. For it is fast sealed, so though no man cometh again. See? So after their end, there's no return to meaning the Lord when the Lord overthrow this man, because his overthrow is going to be cemented by the way of World War Three. And when you read the book of Malachi, it tells you it's not the world's not going to leave neither root nor branch. So there's no way this man's going to be able to sprout up. You know, he's not going to be able to sprout back up. Man. He's going to uproot this man completely, and it's going to be cemented. By the way, of this World War Three, the total destruction of America and other parts of the world with this man and uh, different pressure points. You know, <clears throat> so that's his fate. So this is his mindset, though. It says, "Come on, therefore, let us enjoy the good things that are present, and let us speedily use the creatures like as in you." And how they're going to speedily use the creatures? Cause dealing with his agenda, man. You know, that agenda. Uh, you got the agenda twenty thirty. Which it's, you know, which is going to be certain thing this man is going to do. You know, way before that twenty thirty shit. That uh, the, the you see the Quran is looming. That's fastly approaching. But you see his mind says speedily. Because he know. That um, that blood is pursuing him, that his time is short, and who telling him that his time is short? The prophets, man. Uh, uh, what you read uh, in the book of Jeremiah, the twenty eighth chapter, the prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied, both against many countries and great kingdoms. So when the prophets on display, that that's when the time st starts clicking, man. 
starts ticking, man. The countdown. You know, because the decree uh, commands this place to be removed. And we seeing that process now. So it says, um, it says, let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments and let no flower of the spring pass by us. See? So they're going to uh, take the, 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 you know, take uh, the uh, the moment, you know, uh, you know, seize the moment, pretty much, the, the opportunity. Matter of fact, let's get that. Uh, what is it? The opportunity. No, I think it's. Uh, yep. Uh, please ask the Sirach twelve and sixteen. Enemy speaks sweetly with his lips. But in his heart, he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. And guess what? That's, uh, this man uh, doing that through his rhetoric, you know, followed behind his laws. This is, ultimately, is an effort to overthrow you, is to lure you in and, and, and snare you, man. You know, this man, uh, want to? he want to fight for, he want to be pro-life all of a sudden. He want to, uh, you know, ban abortions. You know, but he the snare is that now when they when them things come back around, it is is pro life. You know, uh, you, you know they 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 did the abortion. They have signed a lot of where you can't get an abortion. It's gonna be a law of where you gotta get that jab. It's gonna be a law where you gotta get that karag, my man. You know. It says he will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. See, and this is the opportunity. This man is going to seize the moment, you know. And it, and, and, and his and through his warped mind and his thinking, the only solution is through blood, through the sword. You know, that's how he rationalized things out is with his military man. That's how he's going to, uh, you know, capture the moment, so to speak. Verse 8, this is back with Psalm 7, 2, verse 8. It says, let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered, see? And that's the, these elites and their councils. This is the old tone of it, that they, they on the clock pretty much. And it's pretty much, it's, um, you jump down. He tells you his, uh, the reason is because of the prophets, man. You know? We're just going back. They uh <laughs> this is this is in the, this is in their councils. We need to hurry up and do this before. You know what I mean, come on man. So that's that arc of, like I said, fuck them 18 years and a year 2040. No. Things are, are happening now. You know, and this devil knows that, you know, he understand that this is a, a monumental moment as well. This is very about this is pretty much it's like a fourth down play with no time left on the clock. You got one second left for, for, for one, you know, more play. You know. Joe five verse. Um, Verse 12, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Yeah, see, and that's how this man knows he's on the clock now. Because the Lord allowed this man to prosper for a certain amount of time to have his way to run his course. But now things, you know, he was able to run circles around the people for centuries and, you know, deceive the people. But now truth has sprung up upon the earth. He can't do, you know, and, 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 and shape, fashion, and mold certain things that he once did, man. Why? Because the truth is on the planet Earth. It says he take the wise in their craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried here along, see? So he said the Lord is taking the wise in their own craftiness. He said their own counsel is going to cast them down, you know? His own counsel. That's why ultimately, uh, you know, this man came up 
by the way of war, that was always his formula. But how fitting that's going to be to his detriment. You know? This is, they meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. And this, this man is exposed. That's how we know that, uh, you know, that was it. Now he has been handicapped. Because those were the two things, you know, one was the sword. And the other thing that he stood on was deception. So now he on one leg now. And what's that going to lead to? Uh, the, the, what else he got but the sword? You know, and that's like, that's how a wounded animal do. See, there's nothing more dangerous than a wounded animal bad into a corner. And the so-called white man has a knowledge that he's been wounded. You know, these other nations even smell blood in the war. You know? Uh, like I said, this devil even acknowledged that, you know, you had the buffalo. Soon this nigga had a manifesto. And he's doing it because he, 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 he know that he, 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 he on the losing side right now. The losing team, which are the Edomites. Especially the male Edomite. The American male Edomite. And the women as well. You know? Especially the Babylonian Edomites, man. But as a whole, they are losing. They are, they are the losing team, man. So what was his solution? You know? <laughs> well, we finna see it on a bigger scale with this devil. Like I said, with a wounded animal. He ain't gonna have no choice but to show his teeth now. His claws. And attack. Because he's been wounded and he's feel, he feel threatened. You know? So, Joe 5, verse 6, 15, it says, But he saved the poor from the sword, and from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty See, So the Lord is going to deliver us from that. Or going back to the wisdom of something in the second chapter. Because that was the conclusion they came to. Matter of fact. Because they talking about how they finna how they, they they need to hurry up and do this plan for the for the for the for the um the flower pass by so what was their solution um was Solomon too and uh I started oh man I started at thirteen well I started at twelve it says, therefore, damn, yeah, I just started at 12. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Therefore, let us lie and wait for the righteous because he is not for our turn, see? And we're not for this man's turn, meaning what? Him ruling. We're not for this man uh, being in power. Look how he run the earth, man. You know? Oh, the scripture says, there are no flesh be saved, man. You know, this man, uh, if the Lord just lied to this man, just ran his course, I mean, free course, just, just you know, all gas, no brakes, man. This it, it should be finished, man. They talking about 2040, you know. Lord set it up to where everything speeding up because uh, for the elect's sake, those days are being shortened, man. Because, like I said, we're, we're not for his time. Just everything is in mourning. It says, and he is clean, contrary to our doings. Yeah, because ultimately, you know, uh, yeah, uh, as a whole, our people, we do wickedly. But Esau, his, one of his titles is the wicked. He, that's, that's, that's actually a, a title for the so-called white man, the wicked. I ain't talking about, the, uh, you know, you talking about the, the devil, guy with the red spandex suit. Nope. That's talking about the Edomites. That's one of their uh, titles. It says, he upbraided us with our offending the law and objected to our infamy, the transgressions of our education. So just going back, that's why we're not for his turn. This man transgressed the laws and we were proving him from that. His, 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 uh, his, 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 uh, 
how this system is run. We will prove him for all how this shit goes now. But of course, this, this shit gotta go. This You gotta scrap this. And the only way that's gonna be done is by the way of this fire. We're just going back with the article. The article itself, it was just the, the point is that them even knowing that is it you know they they got a, they they looking over their shoulder that is a cutoff point for this for them man the end of civilization really the end of the the Edomite civilization the end of their world it says um he professed to have the knowledge of the Most High and calling himself the child of the Lord see you seeing that the Israelites uh it says. He was made to reprove our thoughts. And that's what you're saying. The prophets are doing that. You know. This man and his agenda is being put on the forefront and we're reproving it. You know, how he's doing a depopulation and, and through a series of things how he's doing it, such as the LGBT. That's part of his depopulation agenda, man. You know. The food, the diets, the, the that black culture. You know, but this man, his counsel, oh, it tells you, going to set our face against Mount Seir. You know? So that's what we're doing. It says, he is grievous unto us even to behold. For his life is not like other men's. His ways are of another fashion. So, and that's how he know that he have but a short time. He see the prophets out. Going back, I quoted earlier in Jeremiah the 28th chapter. The, what the prophets did prophesied against those kingdoms and, it, and they came with a certain fate or uh, evil pestilence and war man you know and that's the fate we're giving America you know through the spirit of how about smile side that's the decree that's what we can't tell you know that writing on the wall oh matter of fact that's that's it the writing on the wall you know the king is, is, is has been numbered this man, time is up. And just going back to the revelation torture, I tell you, he knew it. He knew it that he had but a short time. So come on, man. So um, it says, uh, two more verses. So like, it says, we are, we are esteemed of him as counterfeits. And yeah, that lets you know uh, this really going uh, towards them Amalekites. Because they are the counterfeits. Those are the ones that uh, call themselves Jews. But they're not. You know, those are just them, just, just, you know, uh, the Amalekites, man, the, the, the Edomites. Ratatouille, you know? But just those, those are the ones that's in the mean, in the Amalekites. That's who the Lord has the pilot way out of all the Edomites is those Amalekites, man. You know? But they are the counterfeits. It says, He abstained from our ways as from filthiness. He pronounced the end of the just to be blessed and make of his boast that the Most High is his Father. See? So we are saying that the end of the just is blessed. So what's, what's, of course, it's a balance with you how by us from the outside. We, we're talking about the end of the justice going to be blessed. The end of uh, the, 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 the curse, the wicked, is going to be a curse. And it's going to be through this destruction, man. It says, let us see if his words be true and let us prove what shall happen in the end of him. See, so that's the, that's the, um, the mindset of this devil, man. That's how he rationalized things out, just to kill you. You know? And you're going to find out what desperation is. We're going we're gonna to see it in this perfection when the so-called white man come down with great wrath. When these troops come and raid the, 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 uh, the streets of America. Then you're going to know then, you know? He knew that he had what us, and he gonna do everything in his power to, to keep his head above water, man. You know, 
But that's the point, I can I just hope to edify and let it give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baasham, Yahushai, Baasham, Racha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Shalom to the elect, to his teaching word and all truth, faith, and sincerity. DTA, Abba, Abba, soon, very soon.